from San Francisco. This is Jane McNeil reporting for Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm at the 50th annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology. There's encouraging news for management of chronic idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, ITP. Long-term use of Otrombopag appears feasible. Not only was it well tolerated in a six-month study, but platelet counts increased. So in conclusion, I think pop change has probably come to the treatment of ITP. For patients that are refractory to the conventional therapy or suffering from a lot of side effects, there is now new hope and a new treatment alternative. Can Otromopec effectively raise paid account in this group of patients? From the race data, I think the answer is, as President-elect Obama has said, yes, it can. Thank you. What were you trying to find out in this phase three study? Otromopec is an oral drug that has been shown in previous short-term trial to be effective in raising paid account and reducing bleeding symptoms in patients with severe chronic immunothrombocytopenia. However, those studies are only short-term trial, six weeks of treatment. So the purpose of this race study is to assess the safety and efficacy of this drug over a longer period of treatment, up to six months. You compared it to placebo. Right. And what did you find out? We find that, okay, patients on Antrombopec had eight times more likelihood of achieving a paid account of greater than 50,000. And they have also a markedly reduction in their bleeding symptoms. And they also have improved quality of life. Given these advantages, uh, would you start patients now on, on El Trombo bag, or would you wait till later in their course of treatment? I, I think if right now from the data that we still would not use El Trombo bag as a first line treatment. Patients with newly diagnosed chronic ITP will probably receive corticosteroids as the front line. If corticosteroids fail or the patients have a lot of side effects from the corticosteroids, we probably will still propose the splenectomy because some patients who have underwent splenectomy, the disease could be cured. They have a safe paid account for a long, long period of time. But however, patients nowadays may be more reluctant to undergo a surgical procedure. So for patients that either refused to have splenectomy or had failed to respond after splenectomy, then I think there may be a road for this drug. The other situation that this drug may be useful is some patients with chronic ITP, they have a low paid account, no bleeding symptoms, do not require any treatment. But if they are going to undergo an elective surgical procedure, most surgeons will require a paid account of over 50,000 before they operate on the patient. In the past, for this group of patients, we usually have to admit, admit them into the hospital, give them intravenous immunoglobulin for two to five days to raise the paid account to a safe level. Now, but for patients, they may now have the option of taking oral atrompopec for two weeks at home, have their paid account raised to a safe level, and then have the surgery. So avoiding the need of hospitalization before the surgery. For the patients who, who are not undergoing surgery but are taking it long term, mm -hmm. do you conceive of this as something, a drug they would take for the rest of their lives? Is that possible? I think from my experience with this drug, some of my patients who have failed steroids, they have been taking other immunosuppressive drugs daily, you know, for a very long period of time. And for them, okay, some of them have switched okay, to El Trumpopec as a result of this study. And the comment that I received from them is they preferred El Trumpopec much better or much more than the immunosuppressive drugs they have been taking.